In this video, I'm going to cover all about how to start your child five years and under in tennis, what balls to use, what rackets to get, and exactly a step-by-step -step progression. So really, you could start tennis at any age. I'd recommend probably three years or older, but you could still start younger. The first form of ball that you start out with is actually a balloon. And I'm going to demonstrate it here actually with a sponge ball, but you can do this with a balloon and just practice hitting the ball up, right? It'll bounce a lot slower with a balloon. And once they get good at this, then you can practice bouncing on the other side. So the back of your hand is facing up. And once they get really good at that, then you can practice alternating. And you can also practice bouncing on the ground. This is a great drill. So another way you can use the balloon with your child is you can just hit with them back and forth. Now on the theme of tennis balls, the next step up is actually the sponge ball. This is a level three Prince sponge ball. And it's important that you start with this one and not the felt one, because the felt one is way harder and it'll bounce way faster. So after the balloon, you want a level three, it'll be red like this, sponge ball. It's key that it's sponge. After you use the sponge ball, then you move on to the level three felt. This will be the same texture that a tennis ball would be, but it's a lot less pressurized. It's a great ball to learn with. It'll be bouncing a lot more slower than a regular ball. Now, I would absolutely recommend staying with those lower level balls. So stay with the balloon for as long as you can. Stay with the sponge level three ball. Stay with the felt level three ball. Now, if your child is three to five years old and they're getting really good and they can hit great balls, you can upgrade to the level two. This is the step before the level one, which is one below a regular ball. And you definitely don't want to move up too fast in the ball level. Stay at the lower ball level until your child is very comfortable and able to hit really good rallies and has good strokes. Because that's the key. You want to start off your child with a tiny racket, and we'll go over those later, and the really slow moving balls or balloon, balloons the slowest, so that they can develop good good strokes and be able to hit the ball with good technique. Children often develop strange techniques where they'll be hitting with two hands on both sides because the racket's too heavy that they start out with and they may develop strange habits and get demotivated in tennis if the ball's coming way too fast at them, aka if they use a regular yellow pressurized ball. So these are all the levels here. The first would be a balloon, then you want to upgrade to the sponge level three, then the felt level three, and then the orange level two felt. Now let's talk about rackets. So you want to start your child out smallest racket that is reasonable for their age. So if they can fit both of their hands on the grip, then that's big enough. They don't need to go larger. If we're talking three to five years old, the rackets will range from 17 inches to 21 inches. Now, I would recommend starting with the smallest one, depending on how old your child is, right? If they're three, you want to start with the 17, the smallest. Have them play with that. It'll be the lightest and the easiest for them to maneuver it with. If they're a little larger, you can go up to the 19. I probably wouldn't recommend the 21 unless they're really strong. Maybe they're taller for their age or they have just shown really good control with the smaller rackets and you think you can upgrade them there. For comparison, an adult racket is a 27 inch racket, way larger. And you can see how it wouldn't make any sense to start a three-year-old out with a 27 inch racket. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You keep digging. So getting the right size racket is absolutely essential for your child to be motivated and to want to continue in tennis and to progress appropriately. Now the last piece to the triangle, balls, racket. Next one's court. You gotta start these three year to five year old kids out on a small court. So ideally for a three to five year old, there are smaller nets that can be purchased and they can be placed on the court and one can play in essentially half of the back court and place the net right in the middle. So that would be the easiest level of tennis net wise. Next what one can do is lower the actual net quite a bit and one plays in the one service box and one draws a line about a racket's worth perhaps two feet from the service box and that's essentially what they'll play on. The next level up from that is continued with the two foot line drawn behind the service box. However now you're using both service boxes and you come in a little bit from the alleys. Now those are the three progression stages that one can do. However, I wouldn't recommend more than the small net in the back court, so half of the court, or the progression from that where one uses the service box and one lowers the actual net. Those are the only two one should use for three to five years old. If you enjoyed that video, you might also like this other video I made on how to hit a backhand in five easy steps. And you can find that video by clicking on the top left of the screen here.